Hey, welcome to this radio video. So the Morse code you're hearing here is a satellite KKS-1. It's an amateur radio satellite. So basically, it's not super well tracking the Doppler as the the satellite shouldn't shift in its frequency. So I'm using M Radio Deluxe here, and uh, this is the satellite tracking software. So basically. I program M Radio Deluxe to work with my ICOM right there. It's working through a USB to serial interface. And the Morse code you're hearing is this satellite KKS1. It's at the downside of its path here, as you see. So this is one of the things that you can do to have fun in the VHF UHF spectrum if you've got a communications receiver. And even if you don't have a, uh, a radio that can be controlled by computer, but you have a uh, you know, communications receiver that gets VHF, UHF, amateur bands and single sideband, you can have a lot of fun listening to these signals. And even if you don't have single sideband, you can still listen to satellites, uh, weather satellites, stuff like that. So what you're hearing here is this great little satellite KKS-1. I get the frequencies from a uh, Excel file I download from a Japanese amateur radio operator. And it's one of the fun things that I really, really enjoy, um, you know, having the radio controlled by um, this software and a computer. And uh, by putting this little check mark here, it actually controls the radio. So you see here it's moving. So if I show you here on the display of the radio, you'll see that without me touching anything, the display's frequency is actually shifting slowly by itself. That's controlling the radio via the software which is pretty cool when you think about it and it helps me uh, receive these amateur radio satellites so this one's a little off and the reason why because I'm going to explain to you one of the things here the KK1, KK1 or KKS1 satellite is an, a satellite that's been in space for a while and with the uh, stress of the space environment the cold the, the heat and everything the transmitter frequency which was once centered on 437 390 has kind of shifted away from that frequency so basically I have to find probably a little more precisely the exact frequency is more like 437.387 or 388 something like that um, that's where the frequency is probably residing and uh, that's why it's a little off but uh, usually works quite well and you can really track most satellites quite um, easily with this piece of software and that comes with M Radio Deluxe so for example I can say okay I'm gonna stop tracking satellites I wanna go listen to NOAA Weather or Environment Canada here I just punch in the frequency 162.55000 I can switch the mode from the software, so I put the radio in FM, there we are, I can even put the volume lower, it controls pretty much everything on the radio, and you get this, so it's pretty cool, and one of the fun things to do, and I really enjoy doing a lot of satellite tracking, so you know, with all of these videos, one of the things that I wish that I'll bring on to some of you that didn't know that you could do this, um, the ability to listen to amateur radio satellites. There are dozens of amateur radio satellites out there that you can listen to. There's a few uh, weather satellites that you can listen to, and for that, 
you don't even need much because FM mode is the mode to receive the amateur satellites in around 137 megahertz. Uh, there's a Cosmos navigation satellites, nothing to decode on those, but it's just cool to know that you're listening to a satellite that's in the range of 149.9 to uh, 150 megahertz. So uh, lots of little things and I'll be posting a few videos of satellite receptions in the next days and uh, weeks so that you can see the type of reception and of course I'll be uh, decoding NOAA weather pictures from uh, the satellites and uh, watching how you can actually uh, decode weather maps from these VHF satellites. So I hope you enjoyed this series of videos and uh, maybe it's gonna you know light up a little spark of interesting stuff you can listen to on the VHF UHF ranges uh, that's for sure I'm Radio uh, Deluxe by the way for those that want to control the receivers because they can do it uh, version 5 is totally free so if you want to have a free version just search for Am Radio Deluxe version 5 and there are quite a few places you can download it from it's totally free uh, starting with version 6, it's a paid version. But version 5 still works very well and you can control most radios with it. It's pretty cool. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe and you'll be informed when new videos are online. And uh, thank you for watching. Give us thumbs up.